Hey everybody, this is TJR. You know, every once in a while, I'll be watching a TV show or a movie, and I'll hear a little bit of a song that's being used in the film, and it will just make my ears stand up. The sound of it. And I'll say to myself, who is that? What is that song? Because I've never heard it before, but for whatever reason, it just makes my ears stand up. And this happened tonight while watching episode three of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Now, this is not a review of the show or this episode. This is about this song and what I discovered. Uh, now, if you've seen the show, if you've seen the episode that aired this weekend, it's the sequence where Winter Soldier, Falcon, and Baron Zemo are breaking into the laboratory of a scientist of a scientist named Wilfred Nagel, who has cracked the code on the super soldier formula that created Captain America. Now, as they're breaking into his laboratory, as they're sneaking their way in, you hear this song coming from the lab that's being played. And you find out later it's he's playing a, a record. And this was a very cool sounding, dark song. And when I heard it, like I said before, my ears just popped. And I just thought, who is this? What is this song? Who is this by? I have to know. So when the episode was over, as the credits were playing, there's always a section there where they list what songs were used in a TV show or a movie. I still framed there. There was, I think, about roughly five songs, five different artists. And as I looked through it, I thought, okay, it's one of these. And of them, there was one musical artist that I immediately ruled out and thought, no, nope, it's not him, that's for sure. <laughs> and so I checked every other artist first. And in each case, it was not that artist. So that left me with the one artist whom I thought, no way, it can't be this guy. But it was. Now, the song I found out was entitled Coming Home Baby. And this particular recording was by Mel Torme. Now, be honest, Mel Torme is part of that generation of music artists that was not part of my youth, not part of my growing up. It was part of my parents' generation. And it was what I would refer to as my parents' music. And so I was like kind of blown away by this. I found a music video for this song on YouTube, watched it, listened to it, and I was completely knocked out by the song. And no, I can't play any of the track for you on this video because I need to avoid copyright notices. So I did a little bit of research on the song and found out that Coming Home Baby was originally written as an instrumental by Ben Tucker and first recorded by the Dave Bailey Quintet in 1961. Lyrics were added by Bob Duro, a songwriter, and the vocal version, this version with lyrics, uh, was recorded by Mel Torme and became a big hit for him in 1962, and it was probably his biggest hit since the early 1950s. Uh, interestingly enough, as much as I liked this song, and was blown away by it. Apparently, Mel Torme was skeptical about recording it. And apparently, he described it as a minor key blues tune with trite, repetitious lyrics. In spite of that, though, I thought that Mel Torme's vocals on this song were amazing. He even does some really sick vocal gymnastics uh, during the tail end of the song that I was rather impressed with. And as I listened to this, uh, the song in its entirety, I thought to myself, Brian Setzer needs to remake this song with some of his signature killer rockabilly guitar licks. But what I thought was cool about this experience is that instantly a prejudice, a musical prejudice that I have had since I was probably a teenager, suddenly got lifted and blown away. And I remember my partner and I, we were both kind of flabbergasted by this discovery because we, we, we discovered it together. And we watched the video. We were both knocked out by it. We were knocked out by the song, by the performance. And, you know, she looked at me and laughed and I said and said to me, 
I guess we have to like listen to some more Mel Torme now. I said, yeah, I guess we do. And anyways, though, I just wanted to share that uh, with you. It's always cool when you find out something about an artist that you never realized. And so I did tonight. Maybe you already knew about this song, of course, previously. Uh, but if you haven't, go check it out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. As always, if you like what I'm doing here, be sure to click like, click subscribe, and smash the bell notification icon and share these videos on your social media. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.